check my test. This recording is for the JSON API, how to make a JSON API and how to call JSON API. But let's pray. Father in heaven, please give us wisdom and understanding for your mercies. Please bless my students as we learn. Thank you for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good day, class. So, uh, I asked ChatGPT how, how to make a JSON API. If you ask ChatGPT, uh, For modern JSON API, we have here the, this is one of the most common JSON. So, the, the nice thing about JSON is uh, if you ask ChatGPT, in uh, do programmers in Facebook and Google access the DB directly or they use API? So according to ChatGPT, large companies like Facebook and Google typically have strict architecture patterns and security policies. Instead, they use, and it's unlikely that developers directly access databases in most cases. Instead, they use APIs and services providers. So API, because you can secure it, abstraction, you can scale, consistency, monitoring, and logging, and you can throttle how many calls per day you, you, need, you can give the API. So how do you call API? How does how does uh, how does JSON data format look like? This is how JSON looks like, my friends. So <clears throat> how do we make our output like this? Very easy. I already made it. <laughs> Ganto class. The same query in the Bible. It just ito lang binago ko. I commented everything that is echoing the table, and it's just like this: JSON encode, PG fetch all. So this PG fetch all will return all of the rows as a two-dimensional array, and the JSON encode will encode all of those rows into JSON format so that the output is like this, my friends. The output is like this. Tingnan nyo to. Bible API question mark Moses. Ang output niya ay JSON. Ganyan, no? Yan. The thing that is different with this is that there is here a header. If you see my mouse, it says content type application JSON. If we don't put this, the output is like this. You reload, it's like this. This is the how it looks like in text. If the browser thinks it's just plain text, HTML, it will just display. So actually, this is how it looks like, the JSON format. It's the text format. Uh, I know. But if you put a header content type application JSON, uh, the web server informs the browser that uh, you are looking at JSON data and the, and the browser displays can display it uh, like this nicely. So that's the JSON API. Now let's learn how to call it. The idea class of calling JSON API is like this. If we load this JSON caller, it will just be blank. Yeah. Diba, normally, yung Bible search natin, when we click submit, it submits the whole form and then it, uh, we generate the, everything in PHP. But now, if I type Moses, it only sends a query to the other PHP, the JSON API, uh, Bible API, and it returns the query and only updates the table. And the source code is like this. Yeah. JavaScript. So this is the source code. We just have a form and X on click, that means I'm just experimenting, it doesn't run. 
and we have a table. This one, courtesy of ChatGPT. <laughs> anyway, to try to explain this, we have a function here that fetches the data. And we have here a document get. this is an, a, an event listener. It attaches a submit event handler on the form. And then it prevents the form from submitting. And then it gets the value of the search item, search text box, and sends the value to fetch data function. And the fetch data function will fetch. You see, I'm not using jQuery here. I'm not using I'm not using HTML, HTTP something. Fetch. I'm just using the plain JavaScript fetch. So I fetch the dig the the variable and if there's problem in network ganyan and then the data the data function will just replace the table in table body with the formatted data so that's how it looks like and a while ago in the morning, I was trying to make it work. I couldn't make it work until we ran out of time. This afternoon, I just loaded it. I did not change anything, and it's working. <laughs> Baka kailangan lang ng reboot or something. See? It works without reload. So you will see that it's calling here. And each of these calls returns a JSON data in the developer console. And it is format the JavaScript is formatting it here. So the formatting all goes in JavaScript. So if you know how to use web API. You can call functions in Facebook, in Google, in OpenAI. Most web services use OpenAI, uh, open, uh, use either XML or JSON format. In IOLIS, we are shifting to, in IOLIS and my IP Lifebook, we are shifting to using API instead of direct database access. So that, uh, I know, more controls <clears throat> okay 